If they try the big arch and the wide grip, if they even could get to that position, you wouldn't be able to even do what I'm doing. Alright, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a full push day. We're going to be hitting chest, shoulders, and triceps. I'm really looking forward to it. I already did do bench press today in football class. And um, so yeah, my chest is a little bit sore and my triceps, but we're going to push through it. Um, I, I do need to work on my bench press. I got that poverty bench, I guess. Um, I li like, literally struggle with 250 at the weight meet. Should be doing more than that. But I am really light right now. I'm 139 pounds. I weighed in at 136. And um, I'm in the 139 pound weight class. I'm sitting at like 143 though. Um, but uh, yeah, enough said. Let's get straight into bench press. up with bench um just hit my top single for um this is normally my opener is 225 so i just hit that and um just to get a feel of it i already benched so much today i did like 10 12 reps at football it was just crazy volume so yeah i did a lot of that and um it wasn't pausing it was like just about some football balance bench press i guess so i did that and um yeah so I'm just finished up with that i'm about to go to dumbbell um, bench press but before I get into that I just want to address a lot of comments I've been getting on um, my TikTok or YouTube or whatever people talking about the arch of my bench press saying like there's no point in doing it or whatever or it shouldn't count or whatever so first off I'm aware that the arch and bench press is not like having my arch and my grip width is not the best for muscle growth but the thing is that I'm just doing it for meat standards or for like powerlifting or for weightlifting, for school or just um, USPA, anything like that. I wouldn't normally do it if I wasn't doing powerlifting, but I am doing powerlifting, you know? Um, but honestly, if people who like do normal bench press, if they try the big arch and the wide grip, if they even could get into that position, they wouldn't be like near their max, I swear. It takes a really long time to master that. Like me, it took me like a good six months to get into a wider grip. Like I just would go gradually out wider. Cause you know, we always do the, the thumbs width away from the start of the groove. That's how every, everybody starts off their bench press and I guess with a moderate arch. But it took a long time for me to like perfect that form, I guess. And it's not even perfect right now. So yeah, just why are y'all hating bruh? I mean, just mind your own business, I guess. I mean, sure, it might be easier, but like, if you did it, you wouldn't be able to even do what I'm doing. I mean, I don't know, but just my opinion. But uh, yeah, enough of that political stuff. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings now, all right? So let's just go into flat dumbbell bench press.
all right just finished up with dumbbell flat bench so now i'm going to go into incline dumbbell bench and lateral raises oh that took a oh and i don't know why but every time i go into cut like i am right now i like just increase in strength for some reason like literally last year when i cut for 129 weight class i just got so much stronger for some reason and then when i bulked it took a while for me to gain some strength like i would literally like say the same strength when i bulked then after like a couple months after the bulk when i was really up like 20 30 pounds then then i got stronger but um yeah, I don't know why. Like, I just started cutting like maybe a month ago for uh, to get down to 139. And my strength just is like going so high right now. I don't know why. It's just so weird. I mean, I am still young, I guess, and I am growing. 16 years old, but it's just weird. I don't know. Alright guys, so I just finished the incline dumbbell press and the side lateral raises. Um, I don't even know if I told y'all, but I do supersets for pretty much all my workouts except for legs. Because time-wise, um, I'm not trying to be in here for, you know, hours. So, even though I do, I am, I do be in here for hours, but it's alright. Um, but yeah, it's just for time reasons and, um, yeah. So next, we're going to go into like a cable fly, but I'm kind of going to be like on this bench i'm y'all gonna see it's like a thing that i made up but it works really really good and then i'm gonna go into some skull crushers whoa oh, the camera's moving i'm gonna go to some skull crushers god i can't even talk let's get into it it's very different than Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for the video. The my SIM card for my camera is like is full, I guess. So um, the rest of the workout was cut off. I just did some traffic extensions, and that was it. I didn't do anything to the chest after that. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I've been doing tons of vlogs like once, at least once a week. Like really busy, have school. Um, I used that word, but I had quit. But um, 
and I got weightless season to focus on. And honestly, sometimes when I do these vlogs, it kind of takes away from the workout. And I don't like I won't be able to train as hard. It takes a lot longer, but um, now I'm trying to get all content. Um, I'm trying to make it, I guess. So I'm not gonna stop. I'm always posting stuff. So. Yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one, and I um, appreciate you for watching. Please subscribe and follow me on Insta and TikTok. I didn't care anymore. I didn't care about being better than Cal.